I heard someone, a traveler, sent to me as my salvation. Hmm. But are you really the one, the second pair? Can two rebuild what it took two to tear down? There have been a number of your kind before. They call me the shepherd. But if you're the one he sent, then you would know another name. His name? Time will tell. Please make yourself at home until the appointed hour. It is not safe outside. came from the blistering skies and left behind their rings, left us in this twilight limbo beneath the rings, forsaken by them, and by him. Oh, my misfortune. 
Ah, you have returned. My guest house displeases you? <laughs> it, it is little wonder, but still I cannot have you wandering. It is not yet the time. is endless, yet we have not enough of it. Not enough for my world. All that he promised, had I not failed. But now, perhaps, another chance. Just a little while longer. By the stars and the rings, if he wills it, to restore my world, to restore her, to wipe away my regrets. What a thing that would be. Shepherd ever does. The only sentient being in this entire world, and not to be trusted. We believe that he was somehow responsible for all this. The shattering of this reality? Something he did a long, long time ago. But he won't talk about it. Look, you can't stay here. I don't know what Eugene was thinking having you leave the facility, but you need to get to the Atlas. That's the only thing that matters. Get moving, and I'll figure out a way to get you there. Don't have much time until he catches up with you. I'm not talking about Shepard, of course. He's completely irrelevant. You know who I'm talking about. Just another blip in your long history of fantastic decision making. Disregard my hospitality, damage my property. You are sorely trying my patience. Are you really him? Are you the one he has chosen? Sent to me to repair this work? the name Athan, the one before all who promised me so much. You know him not. You are but another of them. Them that scurry and lie and make inconsequential waves in this world. Be gone. Be gone from this place.
lighthouse of the world. Not much did. We've detected a strong power signature within the lighthouse, but for some reason Director Powell shut down the investigation a year or so ago. Part of the Shepherd's home has been sealed away. It limits its power. You're going to have to unseal it if you want it a year or so ago. birthday, <laughs> quite literally. Uh, I'm sorry that I could not be there to say this in person, but still, welcome to the world. Know that you're in good hands. Your mother is the most wonderful person in the world. She's been waiting for you for so long. I wish I could be there to see you both right now. 
She told me your name already. Alelia. Oh, I'm so excited to meet you. I'm sure you'll love it here. Oh, the house isn't all that we might hope, but it is sufficient for my research. And once it is spruced up, it will make for a pleasant family home as well. The nearby village is a little rustic, but quaint enough. You'll have plenty of children to play with, I'm sure. It's not much, but once my work is complete, I promise I shall give you everything a young girl would desire. I'm doing it for you, my little lady. Oh! <laughs> You've returned. I suppose you expect me to welcome you to my humble abode? Give the dust, trust. It's hard to keep such a place by oneself. But then, I sent you away, did I not? Which would make you not a guest. What's the word? Ah, an intruder. What do I do with an intruder? Should I, perhaps, feed you to the creatures? Although they no longer eat flesh, or they still display such aggression. Oh, what to do? Are you his agent? Thief in the night. Such a dilemma. Messenger. Thief. Either way, you are at my mercy. You will never leave this place unless I grant permission. without you. Lily, she... She... Too much. She needs you. I need you. And that... That damn wet nurse, as good as useless, constantly on at me about my work, about priorities. Damn woman is meant to be helping with Alelia, not prying into my business. The work is... I received a signal from the outside, and it's stable. Oh, those pompers or duffers in the academy so now. Can you imagine their faces when we showed them what we discovered? You and I, oh, I miss you. I'm doing this for us, for her, to give Lily the life she deserves. I just, I just wish I wasn't so alone.
Uh, you... <sighs> Lily, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten angry at you, but you must understand. This is important. Please, when you get this, come speak with me. It, it is vital that you understand. I can't be available for you all the time. The work is too important. You're a big girl now. You can keep the house and yourself just well without me. You have your studies and your responsibilities at home, and I can't let you go running off to the village anymore. Frankly, you're spending far too much time down there, and I think it's having a bad influence on you. I will speak to Miss Braw about this. Ah, I both wish your mother were here to help you and teach you all the things you need to know. I promise it will get better. The connection is stable, and he has shown me so much you cannot imagine, but you shall soon see. And he has promised me I can bring her back, Lily. I can bring your mother back. Once my machine is complete, you will see. It will be a better world, where we can be together again, I promise. Dearest Alelia, the doctors tell me that you should recover fully in time. I apologize for not being there in person to see you recover, but you did considerable damage to my equipment, and I must work to repair it. I understand why you did it. You're angry at me, and that is fair, but I cannot permit you to destroy the machine. It is too important. Soon you will see. Everyone will see the new world of my creation. And you will be grateful then. All my love, Father. Hey, Emily, I'm trying to establish a connection once again, but it's not that easy. I'm going through the ranks, you recalibrated your radio. It's still working, but I can't jam the other signals. I had to open a new channel for communication. How the hell did you end up in this place? You're in a little pocket world near the edge of the forest dimension.
He knew it would end like this. He always knew how I was blind. My mind floats as fragments to mirror the world I have wrought. A, a shattered world for a shattered heart. A bit of fool. To abandon my family for the dreams that he promised. And then to abandon him. My little intruder, it seems you are too unruly and restless to stay where I put you. But you have seen my home. Now you understand, yes? Understand what must be done. So, what say you? Will you be the catalyst of my world's rebirth, or will you join my flock just like the others before you? Wait, someone is coming. You led him here! No! Ethan, please! Get out! Your disciples don't stand a chance against me, Ethan. You can't get rid of me that easily. Get him. Have no doubts, they will hunt you. <laughs> Fucking with everything, Eugene, you... Alex, get what, back here, What are now. you doing on this line? There's no time for that, you fuckwit! Harry is running for his life! But, what, it... it was you! You blocked my radio! Yes, and if you'd stop fighting me, this wouldn't be happening right now! Run, Harry. Just run for your life. You're almost at the facility's entrance. Shut down the bridge, Harry. Quickly! Is it over? Is he gone now? No time for finding out. Harry, get inside the facility. Now. I have a feeling something bad is about to happen. Shit! Now, now, if Ethan is cowardly hiding behind your back, it is you who is going to pay for what happened to Lily. To me, to my world. What a fool I was to believe in you, Ethan hoping that you would send someone to rebuild my realm. All you wanted was to steal my secrets, my work, my knowledge. You were using them just like you used me. After all I've been... After... All these sacrifices, you betrayed me, yet you have no power over me. I renounce you, you hear me? And I will purify this world from every single thing you have touched, starting from you, my little intruder. I'll banish you from this place. Harry, look! His shield is... The lantern! Your silly coils won't save you. I won't let you destroy another world. It won't happen again. And I will restore mine, whatever it takes. But first, I'll finish your silly little minion. Surrender, and I will grant you a painless death.
Mistakes, stranger. Don't trust. Hey. Thank you.